Greetings, friend. I'm going to show you how Ranks solves this New York Times hard Sudoku. Not only that, I'm going to give you the spot where he gets a little stuck, and it's probably the place you'll get stuck as well. So you need to watch to pay attention. Also, follow along for some pause the video moments. Click below if you want to give it a go with that. It's solving time. Okay, the first thing that Ranks does is he notices and starts doing some Snyder notation. There's only two places for a three up here in block one because this three right here in row three in row one only two possibilities and so in the three by three block when you have two possibilities you mark that in case you solve one of these cells you can mark another one right away after that he is able to solve for a few cells here because you got these sixes here in columns four and six and the sixes in rows eight and nine only one place for six right there then he notices that there's a hidden single four over here in block nine uh, then there's also a hidden single seven right here in block seven because of the seven and these two sevens. Uh, after that, he goes over here to block four and he marks these eights. There's only two possibilities for an eight. However, he misses an opportunity. When you're scanning like this and you look over for the eight and see this other eight, just look through the rest of the column and row as well. You'll notice not only is there an eight in this column, but there's a six and there's an eight and a six right here. This is actually a six, eight in pair he doesn't notice that right away but that's not something you can do to kind of create some more restriction because you can do some solving right here in block four he doesn't do it right yet but he will get back to it uh he's then looking going okay where do i have my greatest restrictions and so he fills out all of column four and something else i'm going to keep in mind here you might notice that you see the one is red when rank says this solving he has check pencil marks enabled in sudoku pad and something you can do as well he's doing more of a walkthrough and trying to encourage people how to solve the New York Times hard. So he's okay with showing that. He's not doing it for time or, or to be competitive. Uh, so you'll notice the real red here. I don't normally solve my Sudokus with this showing. Um, so I will remove these as they pop up. It's just the same way that Ranks does it as well. It, it makes it the solving just a little bit easier when you do that because then you don't have errant uh, marks in the puzzle. Okay, after doing that, then he notices you know, with these two fours he can actually solve for a four right there in block six uh, then that creates the seven coming up and this seven cutting across which makes a pointing pair of seven so the only two possibilities for seven and since they are limited to column nine they can't be anywhere else in column nine so the sevens can't be there anymore because this seven they can't be here so he does it marks the two sevens up here in block three after that uh, he looks at the ones. We got one here. Got these two ones. Only two possibilities for one. Then he looks at the fours and goes, "Okay, there's two fours here, and there's this four. So the fours are going to be restricted to two spots in block one as well. So creating some restrictions up here. It's actually not the place where you need to be looking, but it is helpful at this stage to kind of get those marks in there. Because then he comes down and says, "Oh, I got this five Cutting across row four, and this five coming up. There's only one possibility for a five here. And now this is going to." Create some solving because what ranks is doing now is this grid just doesn't feel like it has a lot of givens and so you have to kind of fill in where you see the restrictions so he sees some restrictions here in block or excuse me column three so he fills those out and realizes oh, okay because of these two threes there's only one possibility for a three so he's able to fill out for a three right there which allows him to create the two nine and as a naked pair up here in block one. Now these naked pairs are gonna come in really handy. These are the kind of things you need to look for because it's gonna start filling out the grid knowing that there's only two possibilities for the candidates and uh, it'll help you start seeing some of the advanced strategies that you need. If you wanna learn more about naked pairs and all the other strategies you're gonna see in today's video, download my free Sudoku solving guide in the pinned comment or click on the link in the description below. After doing this 2.9, he looks back here and call block four and realizes only one place left uh he says this is a two six and eight i got an eight and a six right there the only one place that a two could be then that's a hidden single two and then he fills out that six eight then he comes down here and goes okay i got two three eight nine i can mark the twos in block seven in column one and then the nines there in column two at this point when you see a solver adding in three you know cells with three or four canis they're probably a little lost like they're not really sure where to go next the key to this puzzle is in a row that i'm going to show you a little bit later there's a particular row you need to focus on ranks hasn't found it yet so instead he looks in column eight and goes well i have five cells filled in i'm going to fill out the other 
four, so that's a one, seven, eight, nine. Then he trims that off because the sevens are limited up there. After doing that, then he looks across row six. Oh, I got three candidates here in row six. And this is normal. You know, you're gonna if you have at least five filled in, you kind of fill in the rest and see if there's gonna be some buy value sells, maybe some pairs, because that's all you have to look at right now until you get a clue of like where the next main strategy is. He even goes up here in the block one and he notices this one, two, six, eight. He's got this four, nine. He's like, oh, I wonder what's up. These two cells, five, six, or seven. But that does not enough for you to do any solving there. Now he's looking across row two. And this is a start of something that's going to be helpful for him. Again, you want to look for naked pairs, hidden pairs, naked triples at this point. So you got to look at some intersections that feed in multiple candidates here. So what he does is he looks across row two and he goes, okay, that's a four, five, seven, nine. This is a five, nine. And then this is a five, nine. Like, oh, I got a naked pair right here. Oh, this is great. Since he has a naked pair, that means five, nine can't be anywhere else along row two and in block three. And so with this five, nine, very helpful. So he gets rid of the five, nine right there. And then he finishes and goes, okay, since this is a five, nine, I got a one, two, six, eight. This has got to be a three, four, seven. And so he does the three, four, seven. And now realizes, okay, with these nines, I can actually eliminate a nine up here in column eight and limits the nines down here in block nine to column eight. And this is important. The, this will come into play a little bit later. You want to pay attention to how this factors into the solve a little bit later on. The fact that there's only two possibilities for nine down here in block nine. Okay, after that, he goes up to block three and goes, okay, I got a one, six, eight remaining. So he filled out block three. And then he notices now back here in block nine, it's like, hey, you know what, the ones, because of this one right here, they're limited to row seven up here in block nine. So he notices that and he puts the ones right there He's like, okay, I eliminate the one here. Maybe this is the critical buy buy sell. It's not really. It didn't really do that much for him. And so then he looks for other avenues. He goes over here and starts looking at the rest of row nine. So he does a one, two, three, five, nine. And then he notices, okay, well, the ones are limited to these two cells. So he marks the ones right there. And then happens to see that you got a two five eight nine right there so you finished out row nine so this is the key to the whole puzzle you need to figure out which row to look at next rank starts looking here in row eight but the key is actually row five so this brings up to our first pause the video moment pause the video and see if you can find another hidden pair or naked pair here in row five well i'll give you a few seconds Congratulations if you spot it. You're an expert at finding these types of strategies to get through the New York Times hard. Those of you who want to enjoy the show, you need to see that there's a 6A right here and then come right here and go, okay, one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine. You have another 6A. And so this 6A, naked pair or hidden pair, however you want to look at it, is the key to solving the rest of this puzzle because it creates some restriction here now in the rest of row five. If you want to get better at finding and solving individual cells in Sudoku, I recommend you check out my single cell solving methods tutorial. I'll put a link to it right here. And while you're at it, subscribe to more hobbies to solve the New York Times hard Sudoku even better. Okay, well, Ranks actually does come up here and looks at row five at this point. And he starts filling it out. You know, so this is a three, five, six, seven, eight. He starts removing some candidates and notices hey, I have a 6A naked pair here. And this is great for us because the 6A now removes the 6 and 8 from this cell and you can solve for a 7. So he is able to solve for a 7, remove these marks, and realize there's only one place for a 7 here in row 9, column 5. So he solves for a 7 there, cleans up this 3, 5 naked pair. And because of the markings, he's able to come up right away and go, okay, I got to solve for a 4 right here, a 3 and a 7 to fill out that naked triple. He cleans up this five, six naked pair, looking really good here. After he does that, he comes down and goes, okay, because I got the six, this is a pointing pair. This now can't be a six, has to be an eight, and that's going to be a six. 
Uh, and then he cleans up down here in block seven. But we're not done yet. There's still one more critical strategy that ranks get stuck at, and you're going to need to check that out. So we're going to do a little bit more cleaning, but there's still another thing you have to find in this puzzle in order to crack it. All right. So he cleans up everything down there in block seven. After doing that, he then notices there's only one mark for four up here in block one so he marks the four and then marks the one to finish that out uh, after marking the one he does some cleanup removes that four removes those ones and then he sees oh hey i can actually solve for an eight right there and then he looks across here in block five and notices there's only three cells remaining a one four nine this is a neat naked triple trick i always talk about if you see two of the cannons the one in the four and one of the columns and then the other one repeated you can solve all three of those because we know now this cell is a nine and then that's going to be a four and that's going to be a one. And after this, he goes down here to row nine and is able to solve for one row nine, column four. After that one, uh, he marks this two six naked pair up here. He sees the eight and gets rid of the eight up there in block three. And then he doesn't really see where to go next. That's why I was talking about getting a little stuck here because there's still one more strategy you got to find. And so he ends up just filling out block two. And that doesn't really account for anything. When you're seeing four candidates in each of those, so that's not really you need to be looking right now. That's not going to help you. And then he comes and notices, hey, I actually have an eight, nine pair down here in row nine. So I can eliminate all the other eights and nines. He's like, okay, maybe that's the key. I can get rid of that two, five there. Make this a two, three, five. Doesn't really do it for him. Uh, it helps, but it's not quite everything. And then he starts looking up here in row seven. And he goes, okay, I got a two, three, eight there. I got a one, two, three, nine here. One, two, eight, nine. He just fills those out. But he makes a little bit of a mistake here and does some over marking, okay? And it's going to be hard to see, but we'll come back to it. After that, he goes in row eight and says, oh, I might as well just fill out the rest of the grid. So two, three, five, eight, nine, cleans those up, and he's kind of stuck, right? He doesn't really see where to go. He looks up here in row Block two and goes, okay, the sevens are limited, so I'll mark the sevens, but he's just not seeing what he needs to do here. But this brings us up to our next pause the video moment. Okay, look across row seven. Pause the video and see if you can solve a cell in row seven before ranks did. Well, I'll give you a few seconds. Okay, congratulations if you spotted it. You are noticing the Snyder notation. Those you just want to enjoy the show, remember, you got nines in these two cells. You can't have nine of those extra cells. That's so what you need to do is remove those nines, and then there's only one place left for a nine here in row seven, in this cell right there. And so Ranks does finally notice this. Like, oh, hey, those nines are extra, and he notices this spot, but it took him a little while, and then he finally got it. And now you see there's going to open up quite a bit more solving here, because as soon as you solve that for a nine, this is an eight. You can come over here and you can solve for the nine and the eight right there. And then after solving the nine and the eight, he went back up column eight and went, oh, I can solve for a seven and I can solve for a one. I can solve for a six right here with this, you know, six. Now this is an eight and the seven makes a restriction. I can solve that for a seven. And he starts working his way around blocks one and two here. You know, that's five. That's a six. This is a nine. That's two. That's nine. Uh, we got my eight right there we'll clean this up not quite out of the woods just yet still got a little bit more marking doing but he kind of works his way down here and goes oh there's only you know this is a full house i can solve for five there there's only one possibly for a nine in column five so i can solve for the nine right there this will start cleaning more of this up for you because then he goes oh yeah, that's a two three naked pair i can get rid of that five there awesome and he comes back and goes, oh okay this is where i'm gonna solve next got the two got the six Great, and now this is going to open up all those twos and threes. So that's three, that's two, that's three. Finished up block eight with the eight. He gets these two, three. You know, he actually doesn't see these two threes right away. Then he works his way up column six and five. That's got to be a three. That's your five. That's a five, and that's a two. Then he comes back here to block nine. This is only one possibility left of one there, which leaves this as a two and leaves that as a five. Then he works his way up block six and three. You know, he sees that I can do the nine and the one here, and I can do the five and the nine up there. Then he finishes up over here in block seven with three and a two. 
Did you know Kraken and Cryptic used to solve New York Times hard Sudokus on their channel? Check out this analysis video to see how they do their solves. I want to thank Ranks for letting me feature this puzzle on my channel. And I really enjoy your channel as well. And I appreciate collaborating with you and talking to you on Discord. And thank you so much for watching.